lens. The word lens reminds us of the lenses in our spectacles or the lens in our camera or even the lens in our doorknob. Hello friends, so today we are going to play with concave and convex lenses. We have always been learning that the convex lens is the converging lens and the concave lens is the diverging lens. So today we are going to experimentally see if that is the reality or not. Things we'll be needing for this experiment are a detol solution, a jug full of water, laser lights, convex and concave lens and an empty container. For the experiment, we'll take an empty container, maybe a fridge box and we'll add water into it. Now we'll add detol to this water and then mix it properly so that the detol in the water mixes properly. We add detol because the detol particles make the laser light visible due to scattering of light. First we'll take the convex lens which is thicker at the bottom and thinner at the sides and we'll use two clips to not make it float in the water so that it settles at the bottom. Now we'll switch off the lights of the room and we'll take our two laser lights and we'll project it through the lens. But be very careful with the laser lights. We have to use it only in front of an adult as laser lights it should never be projected into the eyes. Wow, we can see the light getting converged. In the beginning there were two rays but then they are converged into a single one. Wow, how beautifully the rays getting converged. This hence proves that the convex lens is indeed a converging lens. Now we will take the concave lens which is thinner at the bottom and thicker at the sides and we will again use two clips to not make it float and stay still in the water. Now we will switch off the lights of the room and we will take our two laser lights and project it through the concave lens. So here we are seeing that after refraction the rays are getting away from each other. The distance between the rays is getting increased. We can clearly see it. So we can prove that the concave lens indeed works as a diverging lens. It was wonderful experimenting and actually looking at the working of a convex and a concave lens. And it was something which I have been studying since a long time. And actually seeing it helped me learn a lot better. It is rightly said that when you are experimenting, it helps you learn better than when you are only learning the topic.